The Sonic's three-man squad uses the diverse terrain to their advantage and takes a stronghold atop the hill. Cherry Poppins of Simplicity makes this sacrifice play, but ends the match with a win. He can turn this into his favor. Yeah, they've, Sonics have kept Tony B behind, playing closer towards oh. the center of the circle, while Keenan and Wooly wrap around, trying to flush him out. Looks they like know. they managed to do so. They know where he's at now. But Tony he's through, so he has to reposition. He knows that the push is coming after him, so Cherry Pop is trying to hold the anchor. He gets the spread up to one oh. side, but it's not going to matter as Sonics just continue to dominate. In a classic 4v4 between Wildcard and Simplicity, Wildcard has control over the hill, but Cherry Poppins pushes up the side and annihilates the remaining members of Wildcard, clutching a much needed victory. Drop. That's this, not good. Good. this is a grenade waiting to happen here as Caden has to stop down now and try to heal himself up. Pride has been flushed. Penelol is down. Cherry Poppins, he's got the flying this. position. Look at him, he's trying to push him up the side. He's gonna look off to one side and check. Oh! Simplicity manages to hold the line! In this 2v2, Shook operates on the low ground, avoiding smoke grenades and crossfire to get the round win, taking out Sonics from across the field. Down is actually going to deny line of vision on both sides. Right. So that means the fact that if you smoke yourself, that means the other team can move as well. Sonics are going to move issue. Definitely don't go for the Great. screen. Oh, Keeney's going to go down, and there it is, Shook! Loki avoids decimation from multiple grenades thrown by Vicious Gaming and is able to wipe out the last two members before they have a chance to push in. Has an idea of where it's at, gonna throw a couple of grenades. A little bit of exchange back and forth. Keep in mind this is a 3v2 at this point. Focusing up. Vic does get that down onto one of them. So now it's gonna be problematic, and that's gonna be a low-key victory. With the ears to the firefight, the last two members of Blue Martini Gaming make it a quick ending for Sub-Zero of Comets, as he is shot down while exiting the compound. Circle, there's nowhere left to hide. The spray comes out back over towards Carmen. He opens the door, closes it, just tries to draw out some type of scope to get a little bit more space. Oh, and there we shot. go. We got Sub-Zero that gets one, but listening to the firefight, it's going to be That's a win. and Boom, they come back up on this, and Blue Martini Gaming gets the win. The smokes come out in this 4v4 match as the Sonics spread out to play different angles and wipe out all members of Simplicity to take the last win of the day. So now, retreating back off of it. Flashbang's gonna come out, see what he can find here as he's still managing to work oh, the so edge here. gonna go down. Oh, the Tony Dane! Checks down, low down. There it is! Sonic's just running over everybody! It's an easy win for Loki in the first match of the day, as they were able to gain control of the center of the circle and force the last two members of Zenith to the edge. Zenith with the revives are forced into the corner. It's Loki, all Loki, all day. Yeah, I he's think just gonna deny the point. Yeah, he's gonna have to deny it. It looks like Loki got the center, and they've got the win. Game number one. Comet's grenades are no match for Simplicity's manpower and zone advantage as they're able to spray the last two members down through the fading smoke. Center, it's going to be almost, it's going to be very difficult for them uh, considering how quickly those smokes will come away. That two minutes is almost an eternity. Yeah, Sub-Zero and Snowbird, they were hoping to find some of them over uh, oh, right. of Simplicity overextend, but that's not going to be the case. Snowbird, let's see if he got any magic. Not enough. Ooh. Simplicity takes game number two. Avoiding a fatal spray down, the four remaining members of God Squad spread out, taking full control of the circle and skillfully using both grenades and bullets to end the last two members of Simplicity. Here in a 4v2, they spread out, and now they have full control of the circle. Lobes has got zero meds, check shooters only on bandages, and now the nades start to come up and over. This is looking like they're in trouble, forces them to move. Lobes will go down again. It's up to check shooter 4v1. It's almost impossible. God Squad is swarming, and they will take the game. An ambitious three-man spread pays off for Elevate as they set up on the ridge with a clear side of Protégé from Shook and take him out with a clean body shot. Let's for something. Slow crawl up. I think Mini is going to see him first. He's looking the other direction. He's looking at those nades. Mini's going to spot him. Waiting for it. There it is. Mini gets him. Elevate wins the game. In this exhilarating 1v4 battle, 
Against all odds, Kendo of Zenith picks off each member of Simplicity one by one and gets the astounding win for his team. Sherry Poppins on the exterior, Kendo inside. He's going to be the shots ring out. It's so damn close, the zones there. He's on the interior. Here comes Sherry Poppins. Let's do this thing, Kendo. The door's shut. He's, oh no, he lost the zone. He's got to go out. There he goes. He gets the finish. What a victory for Kendo. In this 4v4, Pecadorus and Loki trade gunfire on the hill, each losing players. But Loki nabs the win after McLovin of Pecadorus walks directly into Chubba Bubba's gunfire. Lewd heartbreaker for Pecadorus who needed this win. They've only got three kills. I can't say it's over, but it's kind of looking like it's over as Smithy and Chubba are going to go 2v1. One down for McLovin. Maybe I was wrong. They got one on the high side as well. He's taking some damage. Chubba is now going to have to step up. That's Vignaldo supporting. Loving the boy Wonder. 1v3, made it a 1v2. Oh. Now Smithy, but walks directly into Chubba. And that's going to be a nine kill win for Low Key.